Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon, and we're going to talk a little bit about the X-Men coming to the MCU. Now, we did a video last week talking about how, uh, you know, when the X-Men finally do come to the MCU after the colossal, uh, colossal failure of Dark Phoenix, how one of the producers at Marvel is like, well, maybe X-Men is a very... Um, a very sexist term and it's not very modern and we need to rethink that so people were kind of going nuts like are they going to call x-force x-factor x-people uh whatever we really don't know what's going to happen to the x-men in the mcu but one of the biggest questions a lot of people have is who could possibly follow hugh jackman as wolverine um so this is a really interesting uh interesting take here apparently keanu reeves keanu reeves has expressed interest in playing Wolverine in the MCU. I, you know, I freaking love Keanu Reeves, but I, I don't know if I can see that. Um, but again, I couldn't see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine either. So this version of the story is coming from Bounding Into Comics. John Wick actor Keanu Reeves declares interest in playing Wolverine in the MCU. Uh, John Wick 3 and Matrix actor Keanu Reeves recently declared he was interested in playing Wolverine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Reeves' interest in the character might make me rethink the list of actors who could take on Wolverine. That list included, um, this is what the uh, author, Donald Edmonds, said, uh, Scott Eastwood or Kit Harrington. Uh, he also included Walton Goggins and Shia, La Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf? Really? No, not Shia LaBeouf. Reeves recently spoke to BuzzFeed about his interest in playing Wolverine. He was asked if he could choose any superhero or villain to play in the Marvel or DC Comics universe. Who would it be and why? He responded, I don't know. When I was a kid, I always wanted to play Wolverine. So Wolverine. So he's got a very busy schedule. Uh, Reeves is practically everywhere this year. He appeared in the trailer for Cyberpunk 2077, which I think is really freaking awesome. He was in John Wick 3 and Netflix's Always Be My Maybe, which I have not seen. He has an animated voice role in Toy Story 4. Yeah, he is the uh, the evil Knievel character in Toy Story 4. Um, I forget what his name is, but he's like a Canadian version of Evil Knievel. And he's working on a new Bill and Ted movie. Yeah, Bill and Ted 3 is actually a thing. Like, they're actually doing a Bill and Ted 3. So we're going to, you know, it could be either really, really awesome or just uh, just awful. It could be really awesome or really, really awful. So, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, so if Reeves is going to play Wolverine, it's more than likely that Marvel Studios would want to pick up the actor. Uh, now and lock him into a long-term contract to prevent costs from going overboard. Robert Downey Jr. put on the Iron Man armor for 10 plus years. Brie Larson is slated to reprise her role as Carol Danvers for seven more films, so we're stuck with her for seven more films. Uh, given the popularity of the Wolverine character and his involvement in other teams and comics, it would be a near-lifetime commitment. That's not to say Marvel Studios isn't open to featuring different versions of Wolverine that will allow them a little more flexibility. They do seem to be fully embracing the multiverse with Spider-Man Far From Home, which I think is a terrible idea for the MCU, personally. I think it's terrible that they're bringing the, uh, the multiverse into things this soon. I think it's going to be very confusing. So, yeah, could he do it? Yeah, he could absolutely do it. And do they need the star power? I think that's the bigger question right now. Like, the MCU, after uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s exit from the MCU... Spoiler, if you haven't seen Endgame, it's game over for uh, Tony Stark. A little bit of a spoiler there. But they need a big, big-name actor to sort of help carry the MCU forward. And Wolverine has always been an anchor in the Marvel Comics universe. Uh, having somebody... You know, with the clout of Keanu Reeves be the new, basically, Robert Downey Jr. going forward. Because we know it's not going to be Brie Larson. Brie Larson does not have the charisma or the acting chops or the likability to carry the MCU going forward. Uh, even though they're going to give Captain Marvel a bigger role going forward. So, if that falls to Wolverine or other characters, then they they got to get the right person. And, and yeah, Keanu Reeves may be a good choice. I don't know. So to go back to the article, playing Wolverine would be an action-filled role to be sure, but given Keanu's acting presence, I believe his portrayal of Wolverine's character depth would be lacking. Oh, uh, for all that James Howlett is, the character is more than just shiny claws and cigars, throwing down with a random baddie of the week. Uh, Howlett is in unrequited love for Jean Grey. Logan has watched his loved ones get killed by villains. Uh, he's been tortured, lived longer than most humans, brainwashed, yet survives to see the end days. And we saw in Logan, there's a deeper character that Hugh Jackman was able to bring onto the screen. It's really the first time we get to see this version of James Howlett in live action, and it was beautiful. 
for it to digress into something less than what it was for the first X-Men film would be a step backward for the character. So, uh, Donald Edmonds is saying they don't think that, that Keanu Reeves has the acting chops to pull off Wolverine uh, to go you know, with a deeper version of the character like we saw in Logan. And honestly, Logan is going to be a very, very hard one to top. Like, how, how do you... How do you make a better cinematic Wolverine? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who who would even want the job, you know, at this point, because, uh, you know, Hugh Jackman did such an amazing job as Wolverine. But they definitely are going to have to bring in some bigger name stars, I think, to carry the MCU going forward. Again, Captain Marvel is not going to pull it off. She can't pull it off. She's, she's just not. She's not going to. And uh, the word is with X-Men coming to the MCU in whatever form they come to the MCU in that we're talking at least five years. So it's going to be at least five, five or six years until we see uh, any any kind of uh, X-Men presence in the MCU. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen. But uh, Keanu Reeves, I think, is a really interesting choice for Wolverine. I don't know who they're going to pick. I don't even know if they're going to use Wolverine. Maybe they'll just be like, you know what? Um, Wolverine has been done best by Hugh Jackman and let's not bring Wolverine into the MCU let's pick a different roster for the uh the X people the X people of the MCU so what do you think comment below uh let us know please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news views rants gaming videos art videos and more this has been Neon I'll talk to you later hey guys thanks for watching Clownfish TV please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time